In this video, I'm going to show you how you can sell your Bitcoin or other cryptocurrencies from your Coinbase account and how to withdraw your funds into your bank or PayPal account. I'm Louise Elizabeth and welcome to Everybit Helps. I really hope you enjoyed this video today and if you do then please give me a like, hit the subscribe button and share if you feel that others may benefit. Also please do head over to my website at everybithelps.co.uk where related blog post is also available. I've recently received a lot of questions about how to withdraw your fiat from the likes of Coinbase, so I thought I'd create this video today. If you're not a fan of holding your crypto for the long run and you want to cash it in and withdraw, here is a beginner's guide to do so. And I'll be showing you all this over on Coinbase and Coinbase Pro today using two different methods. However, I've created another video for those that are fans of blockchain. And I've got four beginner's guides to both platforms, which I'll pop in the summary below. But I thought I'd take you through simply just selling and withdrawing today. And this video is under the assumption that you already have a Coinbase account. However, if you haven't already signed up and you want some free Bitcoin to get you started, you can use my link below. And if you deposit £100, both you and I will get $10 of free Bitcoin. So let's jump into it. And the first way that I'll show you is how you can easily sell your Bitcoin using Coinbase. So if we head over to our portfolio here, you'll see that I currently have some Bitcoin that I may want to cash out. And before you can withdraw, you first need to sell your Bitcoin and convert it into your chosen currency. So if we scroll back up to the top and click on to trade, then if we choose sell, from here, it will first ask you which type of cryptocurrency you'd like to sell. And you can click onto the arrow here. And if you're selling another type of crypto, you can see that you have lots of different options available here. But obviously, you'll need to have an active balance. So for the moment, I'm going to choose to sell Bitcoin. And it will then ask you what currency or wallet you'd like to deposit to. And you can see here that I have the option between a Euro wallet and a GBP wallet. And obviously, the different currencies that you will see may depend on your location. So I currently have some Bitcoin and I'd like to deposit into my GBP wallet. So next up, it's going to ask me how much I'd like to sell. So at the bottom here, it will show me what my current BTC balance is. And I can choose to sell all of that or I can type in the amount that I'd like to sell. And I can then also convert this into Bitcoin. Then when you're ready, you can click onto the preview sell button. And in here, it will show me what I'm actually doing. So it's telling me the amount in Bitcoin that I'd like to sell. It's telling me where I'm going to be depositing it to, and that's my chosen currency. And then it's telling me the price here. Now, when you're on Coinbase, you're actually creating a market order, meaning that you're selling at the current market rate. And this could mean that you're getting slightly less for your Bitcoin. And this is due to the convenience. Now, as you can see here, for a sale of £20, I'm actually being charged quite a high fee here of £1.49. Now, if I just click onto this question mark here, as you can see here, the amounts that you will pay in terms of fee will depend on the different transaction amounts. So obviously, these fees can all add up and they're a little bit steep. So I'll show you how you can reduce these using another method shortly. But if you're happy with your sell order, you can go ahead and sell now. Now, I'm not going to do this for the moment due to the fees, and I'm going to do this later over on Coinbase Pro. But what I'll do now is just show you what would happen should you have sold it within this wallet. So once the payment has been completed, the amount would then show within your GBP wallet. And then you would have the option to withdraw from this wallet. And again, I'll show you how to do that when we go to method two. But to withdraw, you would need to have a linked bank account which you would find under your settings and then payment methods. And then you can link a new account. And if you're from the UK, you can withdraw to PayPal, a Euro bank account, a UK bank account. You can set up credit and debit cards and Swift accounts too. However, just be aware that other countries do differ and don't necessarily support the likes of PayPal. When you are linking new accounts, you may be asked to send across a small deposit to verify and link the two across. Just make sure that you do use the reference number that is shown on any screens when making your deposit so that they can map your bank account 
to your Coinbase account. So selling within your Coinbase account is really convenient, but as I said, those fees can be quite high. So what if you want to get more money for your Bitcoin? Or if you're not in too much of a rush and you want the best possible sell price? Well, there's another option and that's using Coinbase Pro. And what's great is that not only can you save yourself on fees, but it's also free to transfer your funds from Coinbase to Coinbase Pro. Unlike the likes of Blockchain, who will charge you to send funds from your wallet across to the Blockchain Exchange. So let's head over to Coinbase Pro now. And if you're already logged into Coinbase, and then you navigate across and click on to login, you'll automatically be logged in using the same credentials as Coinbase. So over on Coinbase Pro, the first thing we'll need to do is deposit our Bitcoin so that we can sell it. Which you can do by clicking onto the deposit button over on the left hand side here. And then it will ask you what type of currency or asset you're going to be depositing into Coinbase Pro. So in this example, I'm going to be depositing Bitcoin, but you could be depositing the likes of Ethereum, Ripple or Bitcoin Cash. You then need to select where you're going to be depositing your Bitcoin from. So you can do this from an external crypto address or from Coinbase. So this is instant and free, so I'm going to select that. So it's going to go from coinbase.com and it automatically picks up what my active balance is and it's going to send it to my portfolio here. You then need to type in the amount that you'd like to send across in Bitcoin or you can click onto max. And it shows us the available amount to deposit on here too. It shows us our fees, which is obviously nothing. And it shows us our limit, which is unlimited. It tells us what the processing time and it says that that is instant. So let's go ahead and deposit these funds. And it now states that my deposit is now complete. So if I click on to done, and if I go across to my portfolio and go to deposits, you'll then see that I have that deposit showing under my deposit section here. So now that we've deposited our funds, we're ready to trade, but we'll need to select our market. So if you click onto the drop down here, and the markets that we're looking at at the moment is the Bitcoin market, and I can either trade using Bitcoin to euros or GBP. However, you can see there's lots of other different types of markets that you can select from. But I'm going to be selling my Bitcoin for Great British Pounds. So I'm going to select that market. We're going to be selling, so I need to click on to sell. And then you can select your order type from here, which you can select from market, limit, or stop orders. Now for the purposes of this beginner's guide, I'll use the simplest market order. But you could save yourself more money by defining the price you'd like to pay using something like a limit order, for example. But when you select a market order, it'll fill at the best available or the market price. You can then enter the amount that you'd like to sell, or you can obviously click onto the max here, which will take your entire Bitcoin balance. So I'm going to sell 0.0026 of Bitcoin. It then tells me my amount in GBP and it shows me my fee here, which is just 10p. And the fees are currently at 0.5% for orders under 10,000. These then reduce depending on the trading amounts and the different order types after 50,000. So as you can see, you're going to be saving yourself a lot more money by using Coinbase Pro, where you're only paying 10p. Whereas over on Coinbase Pro, we were being charged £1.49. When you're happy with that order, you can click on to place sell order. And that sell order will complete instantly with a market order. And as you can see here, my GBP is now showing under my balance. So now that we have our GBP, we can withdraw. So if I click on to withdraw, and if I say GBP, and in here it will show up any linked bank accounts. So in here, I have the ability to be able to withdraw to a UK bank account, a Swift transfer if I have one set up, and obviously I can send this back across to Coinbase. Now, if I select my UK bank transfer, and if I type in the amount, you can see here that my fee is at zero. It tells me my limit and the processing time, which is at one business day. I can then go ahead and withdraw GBP. And as it states here, my withdrawal of £10 from my default portfolio to my bank account will be complete within one day. And I've then received an email stating that the process has now started. 
Now, if you didn't have any bank accounts linked from that last screen, I'll just show you how you can go through and do that within Coinbase Pro. So if you go to your profile and banking, in here is where you can link a new account and you can add a Swift bank account, UK bank account and Euro. But what if you wanted to withdraw that amount to PayPal? Well, what I'm gonna do now is show you how you can do that. So if we go across to withdraw again and go to GBP, this time I'm gonna transfer my funds across to coinbase.com. And as we already know, these transfers are instant and they're free. So I'm gonna click onto that. I'm gonna send her across 10 pounds. And as you can see, there's no fee and that's instant. Click onto withdraw and go to done. Then if I head across to Coinbase and go to my portfolio, you'll see that I now have an active balance under Great British Pounds. I now have the option to withdraw. And from here, I can select my different type of bank accounts. But I also have the option to withdraw to PayPal. I can then put in the amount that I'd like to withdraw. And I can click on to continue. And as you can see here, it states that the amount that I'm going to be withdrawing is £9 from my GBP wallet. And your funds will arrive instantly into your PayPal account. So if I click on to confirm, it states that my GBP withdrawal has now finished. And again, I've just received an email that the Coinbase withdrawal has now been started. And under a minute later, my Coinbase transaction has now been completed. So as you can see, there's two easy ways that you can sell and withdraw your Bitcoin or other cryptocurrencies from the Coinbase products. And I hope that you enjoyed this video today. And if you did, then please give me a like, hit the subscribe button and share if you feel that others may benefit. Also, please do head over to my website at everybithelps.co.uk for more tips, reviews and tutorials. Thanks, and I'll see you soon.